and welcome back to Pokemon Platinum. On the last episode, we end up taking out the uh, Galactic Eternal Building and defeating Jupiter. And with that, the Cycling Man told us to drop by his house. Well, not the Cycling Man, I should say the Bicycle Owner, that's the Underground Man. Clearly, the Bicycle Man would have bicycles in front of his place, and Cynthia's interrupting me. Okay. Oh, there you are. I was looking for you. I've got something nice. One day you have this Pokemon egg. Will you accept it? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, crap. Okay. Um, yeah. Cynthia, by this point, will give you an egg. If you hatch it, it should contain a Togepi, I believe, if I remember correctly. Which is not a bad Pokemon to have, especially its last form, Togekiss, which is, like, an amazing Pokemon. But for now, I'm going to, just so I can get the egg... Um, get Ting out of my party for a second. And we'll go back and grab him. Sweet. I mean, I probably won't actually use Togepi, because Togepi is really hard to raise to begin with. But Togekiss is awesome, and if Staravia happens to kick the bucket on accident, I guess then I'll start raising it. And, okay, you get the Pokemon egg. In order to hatch an egg, you need to, um, pretty much what Cynthia said, keep it in, in your party of Pokemon. It, I don't know exactly the number of steps it takes to actually hatch one of them, but, uh, yeah, if you want to hatch it, go ahead and walk around with it. It always takes up one space in your party, though, which is not a huge deal. Either way, we'll get Ting back, and we'll go visit the Bicycle Man and get our bike! Yes! We finally get a bike after two gym badges. Yay! We'll put the egg here. Will you stop telling me that, anyway? Okay. Um, so yeah, dum, bum, bum. I never get tired of hearing that Pokemon, uh, uh, theme for some reason, the da 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 da, it just like, he's like, yeah, I can't believe that kind of stuff, anyway, thanks for rescuing me, this is something to show my thanks, we get a bicycle, which is yay, which we actually need to, uh, get through the cycling gear, um, this bike is a little bit different than most of the other bikes. Uh, what it can actually do is shift gears by pushing the B button. Let me just get to my key items. And I will register it. So if I push Y, I can actually get my bike out. And actually I'm going to start using it now because bikes make things so much faster. And B switches gears and you can go really fast or really slow. Um, but either way, our next stop will be to Route 206, which I kind of... Might be this way? I... That's Route 211. No, that is not Route 206. Uh... Of course, maybe we will be. I don't know. Okay, actually, where we're going, sorry about that, I had to look up something, is back to Orberg City, so we can actually get onto the cycling road, which is Route 206. We're, we're, we'll get back to Route 211, uh, not too far, not too long from now, but it's better to go this way first, trust me. Uh, ooh! Try and, oh, you look puzzled. Um, after you beat the second gym leader, um, you'll find one of Rowan's assistant in the south exit. And if you've met enough Pokemon, he will give you an experience share. And experience share is awesome, as you don't have... If you want to race specific Pokemon, you don't need them in your party to actually do it. Oh, wait, here we are on Route 206 anyway. So, yeah, on here's the cycling road. You need to be on a bicycle pretty much to do it, but there's going to be a bunch of trainers around here. And first is Cyclist Axel, who has a Pikachu! Anyway, okay, I'm done being kooky about a Pikachu, so, uh, right now, oh, it's gonna use the double team method, isn't it? I hate Pikachus that use the double team method. Uh, double team is a move that pretty much just continues to, that did a little bit more than I thought it would, continues to make them more evasive and make them hard to hit. Uh, yeah, honestly, Rosie's Mega Drain should pretty much take care of this Pikachu with not that much mint much issue. If I still had, like, a Absorb, then I'd be kind of scared, but Mega Drain's gonna at least keep that quick attack done, and if he tries to use Thundershot, Grass does well against that anyway, so it doesn't matter. And that was a critical hit, which is awesome! So that Pikachu is down for the count! Woo! With that... 
All right, so when you're going down the cycling road, you can only really go south and you go north slower. So I'll try to run into each trainer as we go through here. Yes, this, uh, and of course, on that main road, all you'll probably see is cyclists anyway, so that doesn't matter. So cyclist Megan has a Star Arabia, which most Star Arabs have Intimidate, and he probably does. So what we're going to do is not have Rosie probably get killed by Staravia, but we'll bring out Ting instead to take the bulk of the damage, because it'll probably use Wing Attack, and as long as I use a Thundershock with Ting, we should be all set. Or it'll just use Endeavor and be, and be like, does not effective at all, because I'm a Ghost type too! Now, in case any of you are wondering, Rotom does have multiple forms, if you have, um... Heart gold or soul silver and trade it, or if you have um, a secret key from an event that happened prior to him a long time ago, which you probably don't. But Rotom uh, grass form, uh, wow, ghost form can actually change quite a bit. So it may be since I'm not doing a trading rule because I'm having so much trouble finding a fire type, I may just m do that with Rotom so I have some fire. But I don't know if I'll do that yet. It's kind of like up in the air if. Rotom is pretty good by itself here. Oh crap, a Ponyta. Why can't you just come out to the wild so I can catch you and actually have a decent fire type in my party? Ugh. That's the one thing I'm really not too fond of of this game, is that before you actually get the National Pokedex, the only two fire Pokemon in the game are Chimchar, if you start out with it, and Ponyta, which is kind of frequent to find, but even still, it's like, yeah. I hate Stomp. Come on, Koopa. Don't flinch. The thing with Stomp is, it makes you flinch very frequently, and I think if somebody uses Minimize, it'll do double damage, maybe? Yes! You became confused! Now just hurt yourself in your confusion so Koopa can take you out. Of course you do. Why would you use Tail Whip? Uh, oh, whatever. You're dead anyway. Yeah! I, I really hope... I, I don't think on this route I can find a Ponyta. Actually, yeah. This route I can find a Ponyta, so maybe I'll get lucky and actually get a Ponyta. And have a fire type, and I'll be happy. Alright. So, let's go ahead and... Uh, before we go cycling further, since I have no control over it, let us heal... Yeah, I'll use my last potion. Let us heal Koopa. So that should be good for a while. Uh, also, let me see. Rosie went up a level, so actually Koopa's going to take front stage because this is how I typically like raise my Pokemon from weakest to strongest. Ah, you talk to me, trainer. There you go. I kind of like the cyclist like little theme. It has to kind of not be swing that. And it let you know me with being in music freak and everything. But the one thing about cyclists is they mainly have flying Pokemon, so if you have an electric Pokemon in the front of your party, you may be all set. But again, because I'm trying to raise these guys as much as possible, why do they keep using Endeavor? That, that won't do well if I'm slower, and honestly, Shellos is a pretty slow Pokemon, and it critted it anyway, so that Starly is gone and out of there! Anyway, Koopa grew to 21. And we get another Starly! So... Yeah, why don't we keep Koopa in there for a little while? Oh, of course, it's gonna use a whole double team strategy to try to screw with me! Uh, well, you know what? Water Pulse will just take you out, so it doesn't matter. Hopefully? Hopefully? Yes! God, I, I didn't... I've never really raised a Shellos, and it's amazing how strong they actually are. Three Starlies in a row. Really. Oh, yay! Quick Claw! So, this Starly should be out of there, thanks to Water Pulse, I hope. Maybe? Hopefully? Yes? 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 No! Okay, well, at least it's using Double Team and not Endeavor. At this point, Endeavor might be very brutal, but I'm still gonna give it, give it a shot with Water. Okay, it used Quick Attack, so I'm not too worried now. Uh, Chelos' defense is actually not too bad, so... I'm not too worried about Chelos taking some damage. I should really keep start calling her Koopa because that's her actual name, but... Alright, cool. So, that's another cyclist gone. And we continue down south because we have no choice to another cyclist. 
And apparently, cyclists enjoy watching you ride your bike and say, Hey, let us challenge you for some reason, because even if you probably walk eyes with a boulder and it could talk, it'd probably throw a Pokeball at you and say, Hey, let's battle, because everything seems to want to be out to kill you. Uh. Okay. Uh, wing attack should still really not do anything to fully take me out, but... Yeah, I'm getting a little concerned about Koopa's health. Let me see what's next one. A Staravia, okay. It'll probably use Intimidate, but you know what? This is actually a good chance to switch out anyway. Since Koopa's getting a little weak, uh, Ting can take care of Staravia very easy. You know, the whole Thunder Shock to the freaking... No, I don't... I, I kind of want to say balls, but no. Thunder shot to the wings! Yeah, we'll go with that, because I'm, I mean, it's a male star, Avia, technically- Okay, why am I going into gender and balls? No, bad, stop. Just thunder shock it to death so we can move on, thank you. Your double team does nothing against my Ting, even though it probably could, but it didn't in that instance. And Ting leveled up again, which is nice. Ooh, shockwave! Much, much better than thunder shock. Um, let me see. I think I'm just gonna go replace it because Shockwave is an ability that never misses, which is really good. The only thing with Shockwave is that um, it can't be... No, I'm just gonna get rid of Uproar, actually. I don't really like Uproar too much. I mean, it might keep Rotom awake, but that's not too big of a deal. But Shockwave is a move that never misses, but also gives it doesn't paralyze, which... That's not a huge deal, but even still, it's nice to have some type of move that can actually paralyze Pokemon. Uh, alright, so we'll continue south. And we fight another trainer. Well, we are the protagonists! Our endurance is crazy! We don't need to worry about that. So Cyclist Ryan has a Shinx. Which Koopa wants to run away, well Koopa can't run away from this, but Koopa's like, No, I don't want to fight a Shanks, so... Um, I think Rosie will actually take center stage for this one. I think this Shanks has rivalry since Intimidate didn't lower attack, so this shouldn't be too bad. Sparks not gonna do much, Sparks not gonna do much. Anyway. And this is why I switched, because Badoo might be a little weak, but again, a spark from a Shanks against, like, a, uh, a water type is a lot worse. Really? You're gonna roar me out? Well, okay, so Cricketoon takes center stage because Shinx decided to use roar and switch my team around, so I'll just cut you to death instead! Okay, go ahead and charge up, because I'm still gonna cut you, man! Cut you, fool! Anyway. Special defense. By the way, cut to finish the Shinx off! Yeah! And the Shinx goes down for the count. And three of my Pokemon get 90 experience because I typically don't like dividing it by three, but hey! That's what Roar does! I didn't get lucky. Wow, there's actually a lot of trainers on this route. But you know what? That's actually a good thing because the more trainers you find, the more powerful my Pokemon will become and the more easier this Nuzlocke challenge will be. And we start out with the Ponyta, and Koopa's gonna use lovely Water Pulse and get hit by a Flame Wheel first, which I don't know how much it's gonna do. Not much at all, because Koopa... That's surprising. You know what? I might actually... I don't actually... No, probably not. I think Shellos evolves at level 40, maybe? Uh... Is it 40? I don't know. I want to say it's 40, but I don't actually know off the top of my head. This is me trying to quickly figure out something that I can't... Oh, screw it. I don't care. I'll, I'll look it up and maybe, like, put it in, like, a note or something. But either way, Koopa's on level 12! Oh, hello there. Level 22! And wants to learn Rain Dance. Um... You know what? I don't need Harden anymore. So, Koopa, you're gonna forget how to harden everything. It's a female, so you can't really use that. Look, Okay, fine. And Koopa learned Rain Dance. Ah. Uh, and then we go for a Shinx here. Well, I'm sorry, Koopa, you don't know how to harden yourself. Any ha, ha, ha. Anyway, I am done being perverted for now. And we'll do the whole switcheroo to get Rosie back out there and kick this Shinx's ass. 
Of course, rivalry may raise Shanks' uh, attack a little bit, but Omega, Omega Dragon can really uh, help with a couple of them. So let's go ahead and use Mega Drain to almost take out that Shinx in one hit, which is awesome! And it has Bite, which... Eh, that did a little bit more than I'm comfortable with, but that's okay. Well, it's because of rivalry, most likely. So whenever Shinx ha uh, fights a female, in ca that case, uh, Shinx has a tackle raise. That's kind of the joys of rivalry, which I think mine also, also had. But I can't really remember too well. Well, that's the end of that. Um... Wow, that just almost led me to the end of the route. Uh, speaking of which, Rosie might as well take center stage to fight that next trainer, who we need to go a little bit up to actually face. I love the cyclist move. Move. You guys should just look it up and just listen to it and see how like upbeat and thrilling it is. Oh, another Pikachu. Okay, Rosie, do your job and drain it to death. I mean, I feel so sad doing that to a Pikachu because Pikachus are so adorable, and if I ever found one, I'd be like, "Hey, Pikachu! But actually, I probably wouldn't use it, especially since I have Rotom, unless Rotom met an ill-fated end, which, at this point in the game, until I reach the next gym... Ooh, 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 no, okay, good, good. Oh, until the next... Slam! Okay, critical hit. Crit, 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 crit. All right, that, that's okay. Uh, Rosie will take it out anyway. Which, at this point in the game, I don't... Damn it! I won't really need to worry too much about anything taking out a Rotom, because Rotom is pretty damn powerful. But, at the next gym, I may be doing a little bit of switching around just to make sure that I don't lose that Rotom. And, uh, old Sparky will have his chance to shine again, or her. I don't remember what it was now. Other way, that's the end of that cyclist. Crash! Or whatever she actually said. Um. Alright. Let's give a paralysis heal to Rosie. Uh. Oh! Does that Badu have natural cure? What do you know? It does! I don't need to worry about that! Woo! Anyway. Go a little bit further south, and we've reached the end of the route. Hi, trainer, what do you have to say? Alright, well, if you talk to that person, you'll get a flag as an accessory if you really want to use it. But either way, my main point of this is to be at the bottom of the route so I can cut... Well, I'll pick those berries off screen, but cut through here. And since we're on a new route, let's see what Pokemon we can find in here. On this lovely route. And our next partner is going to be... Yeah! Yes! Thank you! You blessed me with a Ponyta! I finally get a fire type, as long as I don't kill it, but, um, hmm. I don't want to screw this up, so... Best to fly it with cigars! Best to fly it with Kazakh. Wow. Anyway, Kazooie will come out, and hopefully weaken that Ponyta enough so I can actually catch it. I hope to god that I don't kill it on accident. Um, yeah, Tackle's not gonna kill that Ponyta. Ponyta! All right. Use nicotine addiction, Ponyta! Ponyta does not have a nicotine addiction! It does in this world. Have you ever oh. played Pokemon Black Ribbon Black? It's Pokemon 40k! Pokemon for- What?! In the grim dark of the future, there is only war in Pokemon! Wow. Well, either way, we now have a Ponyta! Yay! From space! I wish it was a female Ponyta, though, but you know what? I have a Fire-type, and I'm actually really happy about that. Um... You know what? I don't care that this pony Ponyta is male. As a newborn, it can barely stand, however, though galloping, its legs are made tougher and tougher. Um, what should we name this Ponyta? Name it Nicotine! I'm not naming it Nicotine! Name it Nicotine, anybody! Why? Because What should I name this Ponyta? My I am not naming it My Little either. Name it Why? You know what? Screw it. Epona. Ha! It's better than nicotine! 
I like that, actually. I don't know why I'm doing this, but Ponyta's name is going to be Nightmare. Because when you see it, you will have nightmares of it just constantly using flame wheel on you. <laughs> anyway. So with that, we have caught a Ponyta. And I think, actually, Shellos' time in our party is done. But, uh, until then, on our next episode, we will continue exploring Route 206. Because there is a little funny cave here, which another one of two Pokemon that I really want to catch, which I hope comes out. So, until next time, guys, this is Legendary China, signing out.